Oh, we're gonna be eating today. Four film video, but knockouts. All knockouts. The greatest knockouts ever. You guys agree? Here we go. Ugh. We're gonna see some bodies David hit the floor. David Tua was a ferocious power puncher. You guys said to uh, watch he is him. He's the puncher right now in the heavyweight division. I mean, they're gonna be David Tua dolls. They'll be David Tua Pokemon. <laughs> Wow, he just slipped right in there like a slip and slide. Wow. Oh. His left hand was one of the most potent and destructive ah, weapons whoa, in boxing whoa. history. Oh, he took his head off. Tua came storming out. It's over. Oh, he's Perez gone, bro. It. He's gone. Wow. That was awesome. They recognized the need to keep Mike busy, so Tyson fought almost monthly. That's his trainer, they Kevin keep him Rooney, busy because he's an animal, man. He got a welterweight in his day. He doesn't want to keep hitting bags and when he hits he bodies. A big heavyweight. He's only a kid, mentor, and father figure. Customer. Kid with a man body. Look at this. Oh, he's gonna drop him. Tyson oh, was like a sponge. He just absorbed everything that Cus had to teach him. Oh, that's for work. style, coupled wow. with blistering speed and head movement, seemed unstoppable. Well, yeah. I, with, with I love Young Mike, man. Your I wish we got to see more of Young girl. Mike. Watch the fight. Like that Young Mike throughout the years and just kept that form, you know? That hungry. He definitely was hurt there. Looks apprehensively at Tyson. Yo, body, body. Good right hand, help him down. Amazing. Early in the fourth, this guy doesn't even come on. Let the man finish. quit. A jolting little left hook that shook Halpin down to He's like, sorry, his sorry, heels. sorry. Quickly developed a reputation for first round knockout. Did you, did you ever stop and think, like, man, how lucky am I that I ran into that man? No, no. He said he summons me. He summoned you. Whoa. He summoned you. Like a because warlock. If you take a boy and you teach him how to fight He's from a the beginning demon. to end. Part of you is in him too, so that when he fights, part of Look you is him. in that ring. Yes, uh, Mike Tyson, in my opinion, the most exciting young heavyweight in boxing. Oh yeah. He keeps punching. Get will fix, but hold on to your hat. Nobody's gonna go that far. Wow, that head movement. Beautiful head movement. Yo. Dude, that is so juicy. Now he Dang that power, left. man. He didn't connect with that second punch because he was already down. Wow. He's terrified. But he is terrified. Why would you go back in? You, you, you get ready to fight to just do nothing and just eat a punch, man. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal wide open. Punch. Yeah, wide I'll open. You, I Michael think he was Jack still in Johnson shock. Earned his money the hard way tonight. And still undefeated, Mike Tyson, the man in the truest sense wow. of an animal. But we say that in a positive way. To use the word animal might be the disrespect really but he, he certainly was in the ring i mean he feared nothing and he was brilliantly trained and managed he was well looked after and well taught you know um, what level of aggression to beat canelo should we expect from you tomorrow night okay, canelo. i haven't seen canelo yet yeah. these guys are modern i want right? to be on on him so close it's going to feel like we're <laughs> Ooh, they did him slow motion too oh wow. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back up. I'm coming back up. Hey, how you doing? And then Canelo started to counter with big power and just blasted him out with one of the great combinations wow. we've seen in recent years. He demolished James Kirkland. Like Costco, man. Kirkland. A signature KO. One he gave him the bulk. For the highlight reels. Dude, that's a bulk order of punches for Kirkland. Oh my goodness, he dropped down like a rag doll. considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. That was a great knockout. Wow, that was a great knockout. Yeah, he's pretty cool, though. Like, smooth. He's like, Dad? Dad? 
Who's this guy now? <gasps> oh, he got clipped. Oh, he blind clipped too. He just went for it. That is Yo, the when they hit the, the floor like that, man, else. it's it's a sensational, shocking one punch. Yo, I don't know what's worse, him getting clipped in the face like that, or going face first, hard on the floor. When Jefferson comes out, can he stay on his feet? Who's this? Where do you? Oh, oh the mouth guard, bro. What does it take for a real knockout puncher to get the job done? Jeez, Timber. Does a tree make a noise if no one's there to hear it? Well, everyone was here to hear that. Better this is believe the that. boxer of all time. I don't care what anyone says. Joe Frazier's left hook. Smoking left hook, baby. Smoking. Bob Foster goes down again. It's it hurts you twice with it. Joe Frazier wins it. by a sudden dramatic knockout in round two. The devastating power of George Foreman is something of a legend. Big George Foreman. Oh, big George. The baleful stare of the George, man who George, was George of the jungle. Hero, George, 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 George of the jungle. Before Mike Tyson. Wow, there was look at this behemoth. A mountain of a man. Who scared opponents and spectators alike. Yeah, he's just huge. Hit it and he is knocked out. Just a Judge big body of man, like just a mass, like the black hole, you know, he's just like... ...once considered the greatest prize in sports. Twice, as two different fighters, two different human beings. Yeah, wow. He still won a title. Who's the this guy? that really scared the hell out of everyone was Sonny Liston first, then George Foreman, who was like yep. the improvement on Sonny Liston. And then Mike Tyson. Yep. George mimicked his persona after the great Sonny Liston. I met Sonny oh, Liston. This is he became my role model. He had to be the most angry fella I'd met. He'd look right through you. Yeah, I remember this. This was like one of the first kind of documentaries that I saw. He had this very forbidding, the hitman, utterly hostile manner about it. The mafia hitman. And after he lost Morales. It, I told myself it's my job to make his right hand as good as his left. Oh, it's with Pacquiao. More time to work with we Pacquiao. haven't seen him yet. Freddie I know Roach of him, began but... the process of turning the one punch, one style Pacquiao into a well-rounded warrior, capable of using both hands with equal destructiveness. Their relationship was rooted in much more than just boxing, as Manny would look to Roach as a father figure. He's not my only my trainer. He's, he's also uh, my advisor and my like my father his mitt wow. sessions are a thing of legend as his power has a tendency to damage his trainer's hands he is known for his relentless pressure which is born of seemingly nice endless picture. reserves of endurance these reserves are not given but earned Dang, he's fast. And he jumps rope for over an hour straight Jesus. each workout. When he runs, he is followed like Rocky Balboa down the streets. At Terry Fox in Canada, I guess, you know? Now trained by the veteran Freddie Roach, former protege of... He's the Terry Fox of the Philippines. And an exciting conclusion to the Morales Pacquiao trilogy was in high. This is our first quarterfinal matchup in the Bantamweight Tournament. Inouye took part in the World Boxing Super Series Tournament. Where was the knockout for Pacquiao? I guess they got to cut. unify the flyweight. Wow, oh, that was weird. That was a weird cut, but whatever. Who's this guy? Oh, dang, this guy looks dangerous. Whoa, what was that combo? Also, that ring looks dope. I like the ring. That looks cle clean and crisp, man. Yo, this guy's dangerous. What? That was insane. It's like he measured the distance with his friend jab, and then he connected and sent them home with his back. I'm not machine. Who's this guy? Is it this guy? I'm not machine. I am not machine.
Oh, is it that Japanese guy again? Or is it the machine guy? Boy, he's throwing a jab that's landing like a right hand, but he's not off balance when he's throwing it. Ooh. Oh, it's not the same Japanese guy. Right but it's the machine guy. He's mach pulverizing Ishida with his jab. Damn. Yeah, his jab, man. Woo, Matrix. He just keeps coming. Like some sort of Eastern Bloc Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. <gasps> that was cool. That was very cool. That was very cool. Like he beat him up like a punching bag. Just kept coming at him. Wow. 13 knockouts in a row. This is also machine. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever. Oh yeah, Joe Lewis. Devastating Joe Lewis of old. Damn. Now, ah. here is the champion in all his fighting fury. Damn, Joe. Saying so, Joe. Mm, shake it off. Come back up and get some more. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's yucky. Yucky. Yuck. And when I walked in that building and Mike Tyson walked into the ring. Uh oh, another Mike Tyson. Road. Let's go. And the reaction of the crowd. Wow. This is great. This is great. This is what we want. This is what I want. Wow. He wears no socks. <sighs> like, this is why people watch boxing, you know? They want to see someone get laid out. More like a gladiator. Oh, good night. Mean, he's just mean. Mean, Mike Tyson. Hmm. Mike has an ability to slip punches that has not been seen in the heavyweight ranks since Muhammad Ali. That's gotta suck. You, you, you do all that effort to try to hit someone. That guy just ducks and slips away everything. Sees one opening and and here comes a punchline. Bang. Wow. Lights. He also probably got confident that he's like going to be able to hit him. Mike Tyson is oil. Slips right off. Rocky Marciano had something that you can't teach people. Which is just Marciano. Marciano misses a left hook. <gasps> misses a left hook. Bang, stuns him, and finishes him off. As he racks up his 45th consecutive triumph and his 40th knockout. Rocky Marciano. Marciano. The greatest champion in the history of boxing. Every time I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out there. A legend. That's good, that's time. good. <laughs> oh, man. Back when film was uh, actually entertaining. Mm. Only Jeez, it looks like he just any grabbed something and then smacked him with it, but it was just his boxing glove. 49 fights. 43 of them by this guy's dramatic. MikeTysonLive.com, wow. Marciano, in his first round, he seems to stay up to the count of three. Another left hook. Another Marciano left hook. Bang. Time and time again, but he is full like strong. Jersey Joe Walcott is leading on all three scorecards. Seven rounds to five. Rocky Marciano has to That's knock out That's such a Joe weird Walcott boxing form. I know it's it's probably has told how so. you should do it, but it's just so weird to see. I don't know. Gone. He's down. He's down. He's out. Oh, he's like really gone. Like RIP gone. Holy. Marciano. The way they say it. Marciano. Up in weight to face off with the junior lightweight champion, Rocky Martinez, in Madison Square Garden. Is this the machine? In December 2000. Is that the machine? 
12, Showtime first aired Wilder He's dead in machine, man. against another tall, unbeaten heavyweight, oh, Kelvin Price. Oh, completely missed that. Bombs mm. away for the bronze bomber. I guess some things got cut because of uh, copyright. What a shot. Who's that, Wilder? He looks like Wilder. Probably a young Wilder, right? Yeah, it is. Exactly. Whoa, he looks different. In his pro Stunning fashion. Roy Jones Jr. goes to 16 and 0 mm, with Roy 16 Jones. Roy Jones. With Roy Jones. Big left hook. Okay, now let's go. RJ Jr. baby. The biggest punch you ever delivered. Who was it? Yeah, man, Art Sawano. Art Sawano. Yes, and uh, Reno Nevada. Oh, boom. Boom. Oh, holy. Oh, oh my. My. God, the way he fell. Oh my God! He had a season. That will, that will finish it. Shades of the Jorge Baca fight for Roy Jones, his second straight first round KO. Whoa, that's scary. Thomas stands six two, arms longer than football field. Knockout power. Who's that? Hmm. Tommy's starting to lose it up now. There never has been a is that Tommy the Hitman? Oh, there it is. Tommy Hearns is the ultimate. Yeah, war. dude. I, I, the only reason why I'm, I'm thinking is because he has his tarantula arms, man. Look how long those bad boys are. Oh, Ooh, Duran, Duran, Duran. He was out before he hit the can. And with 38 knockouts, the Hitman became the Fort King series was fun. Most exciting fight. Well, there's a certain kind of. Julian Jackson. Fight. There's something, it, being a big man really doesn't matter. It has no significance. Using every inch. Oh, what a punch! Woo! Bambi legs. Ah, it's Whoa, weird how they collapse with their knees. I always feel like they just tore something. I can't believe that. Like, I feel like it shouldn't bend that way, you know? And he's out to the world. He's a gentle human being outside of the ring. He's soft-spoken, but he's a kind of Ooh. guy who would back in Greece. He'd have a Holy sword field. in his hand, and if you're out in the sawdust coming at you, you know, you wouldn't want to see that. And there's a sneaky uppercut. Yeah, look at him. Just he mountain of muscle. With you, but, and, and get close. He doesn't want any fooling around. As a pro, Holyfield's rise was swift. Ooh. It's so scary when they kind of like muscle spasm like that. I don't play with dolls like Oscar. I'm not a mama's boy. Damn. He is the challenge. I'm guessing he's gonna get knocked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that he's gonna get knocked. Oh, is this uh, Oscar De La Hoya? Oh, you guys also said to watch him too. Champion of the world, the Golden Boy. The Golden Boy. Yeah, he's gonna get knocked out. The gangster with that re has real cuts. He's also gonna get a real knockout to the face. To add that to the collection. Oh, I'm glad he didn't. Oh, I'm glad he didn't go down. He's gonna get more of a beating. I love it. Big shot by Yeah, run. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. And Oscar went in to apply the finishing blows. Finish. Big shot, and that is it. Done. Yo, I'm so glad he got a beating. Damn.
Was he a somebody though? Was he someone? Was he known? I know uh, not Oscar De La Hoya, I mean the other guy. Man, the gangster wannabe. Juan Manuel Marquez for the fourth time. Marquez was a legend in his own right. And his final battle with the Pac-Man meant the world for his legacy. He was oh. hungry. Did he lose all three times, so this is the fourth? Okay. Meanwhile. <laughs> don't do that to the back man. He was becoming increasingly occupied with his political career and charitable works. No, no, I have a feeling like Pac-Man's about to get knocked out. Have you said this to many? Of course. You told many that he could lose the fight? If he keeps on the road he's going, yes. We become civilized because you don't have that same mindset. You don't have that same conviction. It's, yeah, I this guy is like training to... It was a lot go to war like and the other guy is just... You can't wear two hats in boxing. That's a whole different concept. He's living nice, and you know? of course, since he has held political office in the Philippines, he has adapted his lifestyle to that of responsible public representation. Or like Rocky said, Slassy. They are the type. Right. You gotta have that to win. Cuss was revered. Oh, and we don't see it. Wait, no, I got cut. It train. got cut. It is what it is. As no. fate would have it, he just happened to be in proximity to perhaps the most talented, gifted fighter to ever exist. And now, his seasoned eye for talent has spotted a fresh, up-and-coming young heavyweight named Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. You know, because I started to learn who I could really be. Not who I wanted to be, but who I could be at that particular stage of my life. Tyson comes out slugging. He comes out smoking like Marvis's father, Joe. Uppercuts. Oh, the uppercuts, the juicy. He's already gone, Mike. Mike. Oh, and then you brought him back to life and then you brought him back to... Out. Sweep. It did not last... He's waiting for you at home. He's Kane like, honey, I'm here. Right now, there is that was his position. Yes. Manager Mike Tyson talking to him. Look at a guy like Mike Tyson in his prime. Yeah, the he prime was Tyson. The epitome of dedication. By the fight, I was confident. I trained real hard with my trainer, Kevin Rooney, who I owe a great deal to. Kevin Rooney had guided Tyson's training every step of the way. Much like Mike, Rooney was a disciple of Diamato and had been with Mike since he was a kid. Their closeness allowed Rooney to continue to press Tyson for strict training discipline, despite Tyson's growing fame and ego. Well, the fact remains, the press and the public alike continuing to sing the praises of this man, Mike Tyson. They think the next great champion. You would get into the ring and people were scared of you. Okay, don't anybody go to the toilet or the refrigerator. Mike Tyson it won't short last long. working hours. He punches in <laughs> and punches out. One punches of the in, punches out. That's a good one. Me about you is this ability you have Clocked to intimidate in, clocks out. opponents. A lot of them seem to have been beaten before they got in the ring almost. To weaponize fear in a way few ever Damn, have. Damn, he's scared. Oh my God, he's scared. He's terrified. Sudden, everybody's watching heavyweight boxing. If the heavyweight boxing wasn't boring again, it was the, the most crazy, exciting thing in sports. Oh, wow, dude. I really, I, I, like, these are the things that make me want to, like, really go back to a time and just, like, hope that, like, Mike Tyson had a different alternate universe, man. Like, look at that boy punch. Oh, my God, Thanks it's juicy. George Foreman and, for that matter, of Ron Lyle, each speaking for itself. Just look at this. What's that? He would immediately be tested by fellow brawler Ron Lyle. We're about to bring I don't know. you what I don't know who these guys are. promises to be a slug test, a legitimate heavyweight contest. One of the great back and forth wars in boxing history. Who are these guys? Right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. Is he's George? Got him in trouble. I was hit so hard I didn't even feel it until I hit the canvas. Oh, is it like George got hit real hard for the first time? I've never been hit oh, so hard in my life. It is George. It's George. But George comes back. Now, now George struck back. Now. Now George 
Ooh, that looks like it really does like the guy when he gets hit by George, you can feel that he got hit by George. It's like when a bell gets struck. <laughs> some punches, and just speaking in general terms, you've said some punches are so ferocious that they don't hurt. They actually will interrupt communication between the tower and the ground. Bowman goes down! Bowman goes down! Oh, shit. Wild fights back! Again, if only it had hurt, I would have got, would not have gotten up. It just, it was like it, you are no longer the same person. You see your legs wiggle, and you're not in control of yourself. Now Lyle is hurt! Now Lyle is hurt! What an incredible fight! Huddley without boxing skill. Just punching away. Each fighter in turn leaving himself open. Ooh. This guy and he's down. Wow, do both of them seem like this they are gone? They both over. seem like they have a hard time standing up. A knockout in the fifth round. He won in spectacular fashion. Nobody brings it home like Joe. Oh, I guess a whole bunch of other things got cut, and this is the end, right? Done? It's over? Nobody did it like Joe? I hope you guys enjoy. This is something that I love to see. It gets my blood pumping, my heart pacing, and my eyes squinting, you know? Like, it's, it's just unreal to see, like, such great moments all in one video, and you just kind of, like, react to the to the great times like prime mike tyson man that was unreal and i know some things probably got cut because of copyright but it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed so if you guys liked what you saw you liked the video subscribe if you're new if you want to you don't have to no pressure and uh let me know what your greatest uh or favorite parts of these knockouts were and if you were part of it if you saw it live or if you saw it on television uh other than that you know how we're gonna be uh, ending these videos i'll be seeing you on the next one cheers for now Please. <laughs>